and using his boxing skills to maybe foil and frustrate. Here we go for the WBC heavyweight title. Lennox Lewis in the red trunks. Tony Tucker in white. Excellent with the jab, as Tucker showed when he fought Mike Tyson, but Lewis letting to unleash that right. Lewis forced into reverse gear. Tucker just starting to get bold. There's that right hand for the first time. The overhand right. And Lewis looks to close in now. Best moment yet. Better work from Lewis. Yeah, certainly wasn't much in the first round. The right hand again. Lewis just beginning to warm to the task. And the right uppercutter is another of his trademarks. Relaxed. That would, you know, he didn't bounce. He didn't. You know, he, he didn't. You know, if, if Lennox Lewis can stop Tony Tucker tonight, it's a very, very good result. Lewis has been the boss in this one. Oh, he's got him to the right, and Tucker is down in round three for the first time, as far as we can trace in his career. That right hand powder kick punch again. Mandatory eight count. 30 seconds to go in the round. And Lewis finished the job right here. Tucker is under fire. A big style heavyweight puncher. That's right, he's sure he's got the power. That must have worried Tucker. There it goes, that big right hand, and over he went. So Tony took it down for the first time in his career. Now he respects the puncher power of Lennox Lewis. And it was a big, long right hand, right on the button. Big shots, he doesn't leave himself open for one sucker punch counter. That's better from Tucker. That's just a slip. Just a slip, no knockdown. Lewis just waiting his opportunity to find a gap, and this time it's the left. And his hand speed there was blurry. Keep the punches up says Joe Cortez for Tucker and there's the right again of Mike so you know that shows how resilient he is last few seconds of the fifth a good short clubbing right from Lewis again Tucker almost for the first time finding a few combinations of his own Yes, I've definitely got Lennox a couple of points ahead. The took us still there, still dangerous. There may be further twists in the plot yet, though. This is the seventh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right hand got through there from Lewis. Yes, he didn't do a right. He kept the hand there, but he did manage to get that right hand through. That would have took some effect on Tucker. It was a good right hand, nice and short. That was a big right hand from Lewis. Got round the side. And another one too. Tucker was fired into action by it. Took the punch and tried to fight. Good reflexes from Lewis. A left from Tucker, but I think really, I don't think Lewis was hurt. I think he was just slightly off balance. That right is definitely Lewis's funny punch. Starting to ask some questions, trying to put Lewis under pressure. And we haven't seen that very often in his career. Best moments yet for Tucker. And Lewis having to cover up. And Lewis wanting to trade with him. But this is a whole lot different now. Last 30 seconds of the eighth round, and Tucker proving he's still strong. But back comes Lewis. Answering the questions in the affirmative. Taking the punishment and coming back with shots of his own. Re-establishing control and Tucker is now in trouble. This Lewis. is great work from Lewis. He's answered a lot of critics. Good right hand. And for there. Here's the ninth and Lewis starts off where he left off in the eighth. And Tucker is down again. 
second time in the contest, round nine. How much more has Tony Tucker got left? He'll be discouraged by the fact that he landed some good blows in the last round. Lewis took them and he's coming back like this. I think they've told him in the corner, this is it, you've got him on the run. You've got him hurt, now take him out. And that's what Lewis... Tucker's in reverse gear. He's under fire. He's breathing heavily. What's going on this? Oh, that's a fair right hand. Oh, is Lewis hurt by that? He seemed to be. He just seemed to stop in his tracks there. I'm not sure if he's hurt or not. He does seem to be. Could have been hurt. Took again through some good shots. certainly can't relax counting down at the end of round 10 but that is very very unofficial oh, super left hook from Lewis back a little bit especially when Lewis had some good points but you've got to keep the jab going another good spell for Tucker Lewis is smiling but fighters often do that no relation to how the three judges are seeing it that's right. 12th Pepe, round. Pepe Guerrero sounded very anxious there. He wants Lennox to finish big. Too much into the fight. He needs to impress, so he needs a big round. Very excitable in that corner. Fast talking, Lewis. Do love to see action. The fully polished champion, has he? But I must say, he did... Tony Tucker has proved again here that he is still a world-class heavyweight. A lot of people were saying, oh, he's finished, he's shot, he's got nothing left. But he's given Lennox Lewis a fair test. Lewis believes he's got it. It's never a formality. You've seen too many of decisions. Ladies now, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Mickey Van scores about 118-111. Jerry Roth scores about 117, 111. Judge Harry Gibbs scores about 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis.